Hello, what is up everyone? I am DCSK and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys a quick guide on Elder Rift in Diablo Immortal. Alright, first, um, if you are new to the game, you unlock Elder Rift once you have reached Westmarsh around 20 plus level. It is located in the northwest area of the city in the palace courtyard. You meet Chasi after completing several story related quest objectives. She will teach you all about Elder Rift. Elder Rift are fast paced randomized dungeons that can be played solo or in a group. Up to 4 players can form a party and clear an Elder Rift. To make the most of your time teaming up with 3 other players, either friends or random players. However, it isn't recommended to play with someone who is level above you. The difficulty increases as a player level up. Teaming up with someone who is level above you will make clearing the dungeon a lot more difficult for a player who is lower level than you. You can maximize the loot from Elder Rift by enhancing them with rare and legendary crest. It gives legendary gem, rune, and fading ember up to 280 plus 120 bonus per week from adding crests. Use as many crests as you can as every crest use award fading embers to every player. So it is good if you have friends that always play together then every one of you can benefit from each other from adding crests. A rare crest increases the chances of the player to get a legendary gem after successfully clearing an elder rift. While a legendary crest guarantees that you are going to get a legendary gem. Up to 3 rare crests and up to 10 legendary crests can be added at a time. Each crest you add to the elder rift will throw in a new rift modifier that either benefit or hinder players. So you will never know what you will run into. These crests can be obtained from the crest merchant through the battle pass from the huge trader and being a top ranking clan in a shadow wall. Also, don't forget to pay a visit to Elder Rift entrance each day to claim a free rare crest. Upon entering a dungeon, you notice a gauge on the left side of your screen that needs to be filled. Killing any enemies in your way helps to fill this gauge up. Elite, blue and yellow colored enemies with a skull icon representing their location on the map fill the gauge up faster as they leave behind with progress up that increase the gauge greatly upon defeat. Once you have filled up the gauge to the brim, will summon the Rift Guardian. Defeat it to get all kinds of loot like gold, gear, rune, fading embers, and even legendary gem. And lastly, Elder Rift are meant to be cleared in fast, under 3 minutes or less, cause you'll be running over and over again to farm more loot and also a good source of experience. So it is highly recommend to go for a speed run, equip yourself with the best gear available to stay alive longer and slice through all the enemies faster which makes farming for items more viable. The straight hunt for elite monster are the way to clear Elder Rift quickly. It fills up the gauge much faster, thus summoning the Rift Guardian much earlier to get its loose after its defeat. Alright that's all about it, I hope everyone of you enjoyed the video and get to learn something useful. And don't forget to give a like and subscribe to my channel, okay? Any question or suggestion, you can leave a comment below or hit me up at my Discord community. Everyone is welcome to join. And last, thanks for watching, happy grinding, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a nice day, see ya.